Pearl YouTube. Devil State here. Going over something that came up in a comment two hours ago. I don't know where the person was going with this, but. <laughs> wow. I guess there's a new. Well, not new, but existing game. And, of course, the first thing I think of this game is Pokemon Go. Now, it's tough to say which one. I'm sure you can figure out which one was first. Who made food, the chicken or the egg type thing. <laughs> who popped the game out first? Pokemon Go or this one? But, like I said, I don't know where this person's going with this, but... I mean, if they are asking me to join this, I mean, it does seem pretty damn fun. But, on the other hand, ha, it gives me some creepy ideas. And what better place to expose these creepy ideas than right here? Giving you the terrible sight of it, me. Now, of course, I would never do this to a person, ever, but the reason why this popped up and I checked it out, and I thought it maybe was a name of a missing person, but no, it's a game. So we're looking at geo-catching. Geo-catching. I don't catching have a T in it. <laughs> Catching, so I'm thinking it's geocaching, whatever. It's a type of global treasure hunt of people looking for catches or hidden stashes of objects. Uh, may also be described as a series of hide and seek games where hiders provide online clues for seekers. Seekers use global positioning system GPS devices in. Uh, devices to find hidden catches. That was on May 19, 2022. I just watched a quick YouTube video of it. And yes, you can find old army ammo boxes, I guess, filled with stuff. One of them that was opened up had a freaking Barbie doll in a can, I guess. <laughs> Go figure. But, but, now comes in the demented side. And when it says hide and seek, oh yeah. Here we have an adult version, I guess you can say, right? And this was left on my video for the uh, lady that, excuse me, went missing at the uh, boat ramp, Missouri River. So, I mean, I don't know what that's got to do with this. Because that was a trip that was, you know, made by the woman and was... Well deserved, obviously, is right to the person who wanted to take the trip. But now we got to look at the um, possibilities of who knows if this was <laughs> any type of thing. But I'll tell you something. For that being said and this comment coming up and the demented side of this, of course, of killers on the other side of that treasure. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Now, if this ain't where the person was going with it, maybe he was just asking me to play, but that's the exact reason why I would not open up this app and start any type of adventure myself. Because I could be freaking putting my kids in danger or my wife in danger or myself in danger if I go trying to look for head. Now, uh, yeah, hidden, hidden treasures. And on the other side, I find some type of serial killer. I'm sure there's been very um, successful people finding stuff. But it's not like you're winning money either. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't even say if someone had maybe left money for someone to find. Hey, that's nice, generous, but... You know, watching the old Pokemon Go stories that started coming out. as people driving off friggin' cliffs because they're bringing them to places that 
Oh, find a road with an ending on it, but on Google Maps, it's a full road. So those people traveling around there, and I've seen that happen on Google Maps, mind you. Seeing a full road, and it wasn't. That's right. And seeing the twi- twisted dark minds that people in Pokemon Go had, I could just imagine what this will have. You know, it is my belief, too, that games like these, I wouldn't be surprised that they were created by serial killers or people who are just fascinated with them. And that's right, likes to play dirty little games with people. But all in all, I want to make this known, is right. I want to thank the person for sending this. And if it was for me to play, I mean, I'm sorry, man, but... I don't play these games, especially when I see what it's about, see what it is, hear a little brief speaking of it, excuse me, and finding out that, yes, you're looking for stuff that you don't know what's on the other side of that treasure. Well, like I say, hell, maybe someone is putting out their money before and someone's won it. Hey, that'd be nice. But just to think of the damn things that could really happen if you're just out there searching innocently, go out for a a couple days and find, you know, something good, interesting, and then they say you have to either just say you found it, pressing, you know, codes, or you can take it and hide it in another spot. But other than that, I don't think these games are safe at all. Now, damn, if it was to be into any of these uh, cases in the past, say so, you know, that would be something to, uh, excuse me, that would be really interesting to know if... Law enforcement ever looked on the phone and found this app. And does law enforcement do that anyways? Look look on phones to uh, see what types of apps are used. That would be very interesting to know. Very interesting. And this is a very interesting game right here. And me going to play it? Meh. I don't think so. Because um, if I'm out there looking for something, and someone's on the other side of that, or even if they just, uh, dang it, set you up with a friggin' homemade bomb, you know, and go to grab this, oh, hey, look, I found the treasure, yeah, boom, oh, shit, blow your friggin' face off, that wouldn't be nice, now would it? <laughs> You know, I can go on for hours with this game on what possibly could happen. Especially that little dark person standing off in the distance behind a frickin' tree. Seeing you picking up, see you playing around with it. Hey, this is neat. Come out from behind, slash your throat, smash your head. You know, surprise attack. Yeah, I don't think I'd be playing this game at all. But it is very interesting to look into it in old cases. Of course, you can't go too far back, but it would be neat to know. I mean, if I was to sign up to this, I'd sign up to this to see if it shows people and um, say so. You know, excuse me, who they are or whatnot. You know, I have my terrible sight. If someone gets up there, you know, name is, you know, name tag or something like, um, bull running, smashing you in the ass, you know. <laughs> um, I would just like to see things like that. And, of course, this would be another app to monitor by law enforcement. Severely. I mean... If this game, and I'm saying it exists, just like Pokemon Go, if things started horribly happening, you would think law enforcement would go into this game, find the treasure before someone else did somehow. You know, do it like everybody else, find the treasure and just sit there and wait. 
to see if something happens. You know, get close. But then again, who's ever running that app and sees the person coming? And then they see abruptly stop. And think, well, what's this person doing? Or just simply gave up or whatnot, you know. Let it go on to the next person. Now, that's an idea right there that would make me want to, you know, download this app. Take myself out there, find the shit, sit off in a distance. Somehow just say I found it, get off the friggin' thing, or, or just abruptly stop it and then watch to see who comes next. Or if someone comes, someone sneaks out of the woods. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ideas for people who want to be right. Want to be a private dick? <laughs> no offense. Sorry I had to say that, but... You know, being a private investigator and people like that, they honestly do sit and wait. If they're, you know, hired to do that. Private hired investigator, right? Get the app, go to the location, sit and wait. See if something tragic happens. Or if someone just finds the stuff, um, takes it, gonna relocate it, or just leaves it there and let the next person find it, whatever the case may be. Yeah, it would be very interesting. Once again, I wanna thank the person who brought this up, cause yeah, man. There's a lot of stuff like this that looks fun. I would love to play it because, yeah, I love mystery. And I love trying to find things. But on the other hand, I don't want to be trying to find something on the other side of that treasure. Other than what's supposed to be in the goddamn box. You know, I would like to take out some people like that. <laughs> and put up a game like that, Running Man. I don't know, Schwarzenegger. That's right. But, unfortunately, they don't have that. But this, this would be a, yeah, would be something interesting, man. To see, um, who would be waiting on the other side. But, of course, here on Terrible Side, I always like to bring things up. Something gets thrown out there, I like to check that out. And right now... This is one of them. You play the game, watch your back. Be very careful. Maybe, of course, you should maybe carry a weapon or get yourself some Jeet Kwon Do. Some very highly skilled martial arts. And whoop that ass of that predator. Until the next video, folks, be safe, take care, and always beware. Especially when you're playing one of these games. Wow. I mean, it is tempting. I would love to try and play this game, but... That dark side of the world, folks. That dark side of the moon. I'm not... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not trying to find myself with someone on the other side. It'd be my luck. I'll take that son of a bitch out and I'll end up life in jail. Ah. Yeah. Anyways, people, be safe, especially around these games. <laughs>